Oh, well, hello everyone. Welcome to a ride along. I guess this is a ride along. I don't know, it's a day in the life of a news photographer here in Houston. Uh, at the moment, I'm heading to a homicide on the west side area of Houston. Uh, I'll be working throughout the whole night and I'll try to record as much as it is possible. All right, we're getting here at the homicide. It's one of these apartments. See some flashy lights up there. 1719 Narcissus Street near Garland Drive. That is where I am going. It looks like there's a driveway here. All right, that's the car that I want right here, right in front of us. That's the lieutenant. That's who I'm looking for. And it looks like I'm going right over here. Right here. got done with Overbrook at this shooting here so this one was I guess it was three guys two of them came together and they had some sort of argument with one of the guys one of the guys that were paired up the two guys one of them pulled out a gun and shot the other guy that they came to meet so it was like two against one and then the two guys took off running into the apartment complex. But I, I got some sound on that. I think I'll add that into the video. So, but now I'm going to another shooting, another homicide that's right down the street from here. So this other shooting, I don't have any information. All I know is a shooting and someone's dead. Now I'm turning on West Timer. Very busy street. And we're going to Elmside Drive. So if you're from Houston, this is on the west side of Houston. Pulling up to Elm Side. Looks like the scene's on the left side of the street. Another apartment complex. So this is Elm Side off of Westheimer. Oh, it's on the right side of the street. Looked like the left side way back there. Let's see. Man, it's a busy street. Got to find a place to park. There goes Crossing's car. Oh, got 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 something right across the street. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. in the front all right
Okay, just finished up at Elmside. So that homicide was a uh, dope mill down shot in the middle of the apartment complex. Supposedly no one heard anything, no witnesses, nothing. Now we're going to another shooting. This one's on, let's see, where's this one at? Baldwin Street. This is more in downtown area of Houston. I heard it was a person shot in the abdomen. Suspect fled in a vehicle. That's just what I heard from over the radios. I don't know if that's actually what happened. That's just what the caller's saying, but people change their stories all the time. up to Baldwin we're gonna make a left right here on Hadley got some bars and some clubs in this area we got a sports bar on the left here scene's gonna be over here to the right somewhere oh, come on if you're gonna stop you don't stop in the middle of the road pull over to the right of course Let's go. Come on. Okay, we have the scene here on our left. It's a pretty decent area that we're in here. A lot of concern residents in these apartments. These are nice apartments all around here as well. with that scene there so that was a male found shot in the abdomen taken by ambulance to the hospital hopefully he does well nobody saw anything they only heard gunshots it's a pretty good neighborhood uh, there are some few bars around the corner oh well, hopefully they figure it out All right, we're going to a interesting location here in Houston. So back in the 1800s, they had a cemetery. I believe it was one of the first cemeteries here in Houston. And a lot of uh, people from Yellow Fever, um, Confederate soldiers, things like pre-Civil War were uh, buried here in the cemetery. So to the right is where the cemetery would be at all these buildings over here to the right and i guess 
the cemetery got filled after so many years they just abandoned it i don't know if some bodies were moved but most of the bodies from what i understand were kept here it was put into vote and the community voted to keep the bodies here so to the right is where the cemetery is at now they built a hospital over this they call it the Jeff jeffrey uh i have to look back at the name but anyways they built a hospital and it was a psych ward it had multiple uh different uses and then after a while this hospital they just went ahead and closed it down and it was vacant for years and years and years and they went ahead and after so many years of it being vacant they turned it into low income art lofts so all this area that i'm driving in was a cemetery so underneath us are caskets mass graves hold on so underneath us are caskets and mass graves from yellow fever and people who were murdered in duels and whatnot but here goes a good sh shot of the building here so this is the art lofts now elder street art lofts and before that it was called the jefferson davis hospital that's what it was jefferson davis and then before that it was a cemetery so right in front of us is a family plot that they left here to signify that it is still a cemetery now where my headlights are facing over here is so hfd has the property next door and they're covering tons of graves so the basement for this building here is the first floor and then the second floor is actually the first floor that's why these staircases are how they are okay. but they say that it's haunted it went from a cemetery so right now we're driving over graves went from a cemetery to a hospital to art lofts well that's the end of the night so i got two homicide shootings that happened late last night and then also that uh one shooting that also happened where the 20 year old got shot in the stomach early early 20 year old uh, trump's in town fundraising and also we went to elder street lofts so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and see you to the next one Thank you.